What's up YouTube, it's Kevin Walford123 uh, making a video today on the Dolphin GameCube and Wii emulator for the PC. Now, I used it a long time ago, um, but I've rediscovered it now since I've got my new computer. Uh, the computer I've got now isn't a beast, it's not incredible, it's you know, a basic system. Um, it's got a FX4130 chip, overclocked from 3.8 to 4.7. Um, 8 gig of RAM, two SSD hard drives. Um, I think the graphics card's an R7260X overclock, uh, which isn't anything amazing, but you know it's it's like Xbox One quality, um, you know, and PS4 quality, about the same price as well. I paid 419 for it. Uh, but I thought I'd show the emulators off because they run so well on the highest resolution. Now this is uh, it's hard to record it. If I record it in-game with Fraps, it destroys the frame rate, so it's impossible to record it. So what I've done is just set up my phone to record it like this, um, and I'll show you the settings I'm running, and maybe you guys you know, at home want to uh, try it yourself and see how you think of it. But all of the ROMs for the GameCube can be found on Cool ROM, C-O-O-L-R-O-M, and that's um, a free website, and if you go to um, the download link, there's like a special download app, whatever you can download it, or underneath it says alternate with timer. It gives you 15 seconds and then it downloads for free. Um, most games are about a gig. Uh, I've tried a few game uh, Wii games. They run pretty well, but I can't run them at max settings just because it's too hard for it to run at the moment. If I had a better graphics card, it would be good. But... Well, this is uh, Mario Sunshine, and this is at the full 1080p. HD resolution and it looks incredible. It looks like a Wii U game. There's no difference. And it runs smooth. All the buttons work. It's just incredible. I've been playing a lot of Zelda recently. I thought I'd film it to show you what it looks like. But let's go to let's get the settings out of the way first. I don't know if you'll see it too well on here. Excuse the desktop, I've been making loads of screenshots. Uh, graphics. Now, I've got mine set to uh, uh, Direct 3D 9. You can use the other one. I didn't really notice any difference between that and 11. Um, resolution. I've got mine at 1080p, but it's up to you what resolution you want to have it at. I put the V-Sync on to stop the screen tearing. Um, well, so enhancement. Now, this is where you get your better graphics. Internal resolution. It starts at one times native. I'm on four times native. That's four times the quality. Um, you can. The difference between you know two and four isn't that big. It, it, it's all right on some games. It looks a lot better on others. Um, for instance, the Wind Waker Zelda game. It looks a lot better. Uh, but if you can run it at four times, what I'm doing, go for it because it will look a lot better. Anti-aliasing. None. I didn't put anything on it. I haven't really noticed any difference with it on, apart from slowdown. You put it on and it just slows down to nothing. Uh, uh, anistropic fil uh, filtering. I've got that on 16 times. Uh, none of these are turned on, but if you use the wind, uh, wind? the uh, widescreen hack, on some ROMs it makes the, instead of seeing the square where the, the, the normal screen is like 4.3, like say that width, this bit here will be all blurry and laggy, but on some games it looks really good and it actually adds more to the game and it looks good in uh, 1610. If you go to hacks, depending on the game, um, you want EFB copies to texture or RAM. Now if you're doing it to RAM, tick enable cache, because uh, that will speed it up a bit. But on Mario, if you put that on, it stops you sliding around on the floor. And on Zelda, the Twilight Princess, if you put it on, it allows you to see the map. If you just have texture on, on them ones, on them two games, um, then the map becomes unreadable and it's just broken. So, depending on the game, you can switch it in-game as well. So, you can start the game in texture and turn RAM on. Uh, but texture for most games, the games that have problems, go with RAM. Um, if you've got uh, more than a uh, dual-core processor, enable Open MP because uh, that helps speed it up a bit. Fast depth is already ticked. And that's it. That's pretty much it. That's how I'm running it at the moment. And it looks the bollocks, to be honest. I mean,
mean, let's go to let's go Luigi's Mansion. Now look at the quality, it's, it's like Wii U. Let me just show you the difference between one times and four times. Keep the emulation up so you can watch it. That's four times. That's one times. I don't know if you can see the difference, but all the ed the edges are all pixely and it looks terrible. But four times, you can see. Well, you can just see it on the camera getting better. Zelda looks incredible. Paper Mario looks incredible. Mario Kart, another one. The older games just look so good. But you need to try it out because it runs surprisingly or not. It ran on my old system pretty well, so most people have got decent PCs. You know, decent enough. It will run it in 1080p. Videos are still crap quality, as you can see, like that. Choose anything. There you go. Get a bit of slowdown in this one, which must be to do with the settings. Ah, that's why it wasn't on texture. See, on this one, I didn't have it on texture; I had it on RAM, which slowed it down. So, depending on what what game you're running, it runs differently with texture on or RAM. I've got no chance of winning now. close. I want to try and add some um, screenshots to the end of the video to see if you can see the difference with that as well but I'm not too sure how to so what I'll do is I'll attempt it and if they're not on the end of the video and it's just this video I'm sorry but um, I couldn't manage it because I have no idea what I'm doing. And that's it so thanks for watching and uh, download the emulator today it's wicked. See you guys.